Hi guys, uh, it's Sam here, and I'm filling in for Katie today. Uh, today's normally her day to record and upload, but uh, yeah, I'm doing it today. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a video on being yourself and sort of accepting yourself, I guess, because to be yourself completely, you have to accept yourself. Like, um, like me, um, being myself, like, as you see, like, I don't look like what society would typically consider the ideal man to be. Like, the ideal man would be, like, buzz cut, hair, sh uh, like a beard, muscles, uh, abs, all of that. And then, like, I'm here, and then I have dyed hair, I have long hair, I have this, whatever it's called, I'm not that particularly muscly. And I, and my clothes aren't that masculine either. I think of them more, as more a, a dro, a, be, se, se, be. It's more like a androgynous, I think that's how you say that. Someone, I need to learn how to, how to say things. That would, that would make this a lot easier. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you want to be yourself, then, like, if wearing something makes you happy, you should do it and not care what anyone else thinks. If getting your hair done in a certain way makes you happy, do it and don't give two shits what anyone else thinks. If, if, uh, working out makes you happy, do it. If shaving like hair makes you happy, do it. If, um, if drawing makes you happy, do it. If art makes you, if, um, if whatever makes you happy, you, you should do that and not let, uh, anyone else tell you what to do because that is not how you accept yourself and to be yourself and that's not how you be yourself like um my family was originally unsupportive of me growing my hair out and were not that supportive of me dyeing it at first and uh And uh, now they are supportive of my hair and the way I look now, or more so than they were because, um, because I am happier than I was back in fourth and fifth grade, at least about the way I look. May I might show you a picture of what I looked back then. Oh my god, it's on my wall. Why do I have that? But, uh, yeah, and, um, on, on that note, society has, a uh, stereotypical views about what you should look like if you are, if you want to look like that stereotype, go ahead and don't let anyone give you shit about it. If you want to lo look like the complete opposite of that stereotype, go ahead and don't let anyone g give you shit about it. Um, because you are you and only you know how to be you and if you let other people tell you how to be you then you aren't you anymore you are someone else living inside of you and that might be why I did all this like I raised my voice as high as I can without actually straining it. Like, I could talk like this a lot, but that requires conscious effort for me. And if I were to talk like this, like, I would love to be able to talk this high, but like, it's really hard for me to talk like this. But I would, but I still try to. And my voice used to, my voice used to be um down here, like sort of around here. And now it's up to here. Here. Yes, here. And I'm a lot happier with myself for achieving that. And 
all of you should accept that, like, um, all of you should accept that you aren't, you aren't perfect. No one is perfect. Perfection is a lie, and society trying to force perfect, um, unattainable levels on you set by Photoshop and other things, that should not happen. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Bye.